Fresh out of a Rhode Island high school, Rick Martell found himself in Hawaii becoming involved in the surfing world, mostly with the fledgling Kaka'ako Inter-Island Surf Shop. Here he will share some of those memories from 1961 to 1965 with current Inter-Island Surf Shop owner, Barry Morrison. I was born in Burlington, Vermont, 1943, and raised in a Navy family that traveled all over the world. And that worked for you? That you got worked. out into that the worked. Pacific? Got out into the Pacific was one, uh, yeah, we were in Guam and the Philippines, and then eventually Hawaii. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Right after I graduated from high school, which and was perfect. Where did you graduate from high school? North Kingstown, Rhode Island. Okay. Uh, a great escape. A great escape. And <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have been better. How did you finance your trip here? Mowing uh, yards? Well, no, no. <laughs> My old man got stationed here. Oh, perfect. And I was still a his, dependent. His, his last tour? No, it wasn't his last tour. But, but here you are. Yeah. Yeah. And you abandoned ship and stayed. I abandoned ship. <laughs> I abandoned ship about... Uh, Within two months, I was living <laughs> on a boat in the Alamoana Yacht Harbor. Wow, perfect. And yeah. who was your uh, roommate over there? Uh, well, my roommates there were Doyle Malott and uh, mm, uh, a fellow named Crawford, Dan Crawford. Okay. And your neighbors in the uh, The neighbor Yacht Harbor? Steve Bigler mm, okay. was our next door neighbor. Excellent. And uh, we had a whole group that's, that surfed that whole Alamoana Bowl. Yeah, you know. And Steve and, Bigler went to uh, Roosevelt High School, I think. Yeah, and, and most of the other guys went to Rad, Radcliffe. Oh, uh, uh, Radford. Rad, Radford. Right, right. Yeah. 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 So, are you a goofy footer or regular? Regular. Okay. Yeah. So, backside at Alamona Bowl. Yeah, yeah. And then we'd uh, paddle over to Kaiser's. Excellent. Yeah. How about down to number threes? Yeah, we surfed that whole. The whole stretch, right? The whole stretch, wherever we could find yeah. a wave. There's a lot of swimming going on, right? A lot of swimming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mary. Yeah. yeah. What's that? How did you get involved with intra island oh. surf rate? Uh, well, <laughs> uh, I needed the board. So uh, actually, my friend Jack Shipley turned me on to uh, inter island surf shop. And I came here and ordered one. And then the funny thing is, when I came to pick it up, uh, David Dilling, uh, Dillingham, I think his name was, and uh, Mike Henson, and there was one other guy sitting in the shop, and it was a very small. Mike, Mike Diffenderfer? No, it wasn't. Mike Dillingham, okay. Yeah, no, Dave, Dave. Okay. And they were California guys. And of course, I picked the board up, and they go, "You should have bought a surfboard, Hawaii." <laughs> and I'm kidding. So, <laughs> you know, and I'm walking out. Intrigued with the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And it was, uh, I think it was a nine eight. Sounds right. Yeah. What year was that? 1961. Yeah. Is this your board right here? No. Well, it is, but it's okay. not an Inner Island board. Okay. That's a balsa board that Dick Brewer made for me. <laughs> Very sweet. Very sweet. And you still have it? No. <laughs> I wish I had it. <laughs> and you have a shot here. Uh, let's see where to go. You got some great images. Uh, that's, Is that's, this you? My, that's my first board. Okay. My first inner island board. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. And you are how old? Uh, let me see, sort I think of. I was 18 maybe. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And here's a shot of your gang, Steve Bigler. Steve uh, Bigler, uh, no. Skip Harmon, and Tommy Leonardo. Wow, okay. I think Skip's still making boards somewhere Skip in California. Skip Harmon? Yeah, in California. Actually, he passed away. He was uh, shot in Sri Lanka. Shot? Chasing a burglar. Really? 1970. Oh, wow. Anyway, yeah. you're still thinking of him. Oh, That's yeah. Good. oh yeah. Well, Skip and I lived together. For Is a this while. your uh, balsa brewer? That's it. That's, okay. that's it. Perfect. 
And, you know, that's kind of what we did when there was no surf. And uh, what, jumping off the bridge. And where is this? <laughs> Hall Eva. Okay. And I noticed I noticed there's signs on those bridges now that say no jumping. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> Very yeah. good. Yeah. And uh, you have a couple of shots here from Inter Island. Yeah. Uh, these are. That's these the are, back shop. Yeah. yeah. And that's uh, two boards. One was a gun that Sparky designed for yeah. me, and the other one is just the, uh, my regular board. Yeah, your hot dogger. Yeah. Excellent. And here's a couple of shots. Is this you surfing Makaha? No, no, no. I never surfed Makaha. Okay. Well, good idea. <laughs> then, same thing? Somebody else? No, yes. That's Jeff Hackman. Okay. When he Sunset was... or uh, Makaha? Waimea. Beautiful. Yeah. You were there. Oh, yeah. And, and Jeff was, I think he was like 14, 14 years old. Going to Punahou? Well, yeah. Yeah. And again? Waimea. Waimea. Yeah. Excellent. And I, yeah, I'm not sure, but I believe yeah. that's Greg Knoll. I'm not sure. <laughs> and uh, more, Dave? Rick, uh, what was your favorite break? My favorite? Well, I would say there were two, and that would have been, well, in the summertime it was Ala Moana, and uh, in the winter it was Sunset, <laughs> which I lived right down the road from, awesome. and uh, Chun's Reef, was, sure. Was all, all those Haleiwa, mm -hmm. you know, those were just, all go-to places back with, then, and yeah. there was nobody there. Wonderful. Yeah. Wow. I do have. I didn't bring it. I do have a picture of me at sunset. I think you. I we sent it to you. You got this wedge. Yeah. At, at Ten, twelve feet. You're by yourself. Yeah. There's nobody around. else in the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, it's all you, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you had a uh, you had an image of your uh, what fifty one Chevy Fastback. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. 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 With all the dents in it. <laughs> Couldn't see it. I owned three cars when I was here. Mm -hmm. I owned that one that you're talking about, and then I had a uh, Chevy station wagon that belonged to Kaima Key Community Church. <laughs> That's who I bought it from. <laughs> Excellent. Two hundred bucks. Yeah, I think it was yeah, something like okay. that. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know how cars back then, they were just swapped back and forth. Mm -hmm. People would leave the island, <laughs> sell you a car for peanuts. Something. Yeah. If you had the peanuts. True that. Yeah. Yeah. So at uh, Inter Island, you worked your way in and became an employee or a ding repair or yeah. something? That's like? what I was doing, repairs. Yeah. And was Jack Shipley working out at the same time? No. Later. No, it was Chris Green. Yeah. Uh, Chris Eckenberg, yeah, okay. myself, Joe, Joe Kitchens, and Sparky, and Mickey Lake, yeah. Well, Mickey uh -huh. was he I'm wasn't sure. around that often. Well, he was a smart, but man. he was there. <laughs> <laughs> he was smarter there. than most, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Because Marty kind of ran the place. True, yeah. yeah. He's a Joe's wife. Joe's Marty. Wife. Yeah. And so, working there was a challenge because of the uh, Harbor Light Bar <laughs> and Surf Billiards next door? Yeah, yeah. Was, Can you tell me anything about that? <laughs> well, it was, you know, you gotta let a repair dry, right? <laughs> so where do you do, what do you do in the meantime? <laughs> well, uh, Go over and play a little yeah, pool, have, yeah. a, have a drink. Sparky yeah. had mentioned to me that he would surf all morning, or you guys would yeah, surf all morning. Yeah. He said we would get to the shop and try to get something done. Exactly. <laughs> There was a lot of bullshitting going on, <laughs> <laughs> but it was good. Yeah, it was all good. And did you try shaping yourself there? No, I never did. Yeah, no. glassing? No, sanding. Of course. Well, <laughs> who are you going to get to sand? <laughs> yeah. The ding repair guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was all good. Well, when did you come in the picture, Barry? You know, I was uh, in the picture when I was about. Mm, 12 or 13. So it was just a big trip for me from Eva Beach to come in with the older guys and see a, a real surf shop. So you met him? No. No, no, we I was just, met. you know, older guys wouldn't talk to kids, yeah. right? <laughs> Why should they? Yeah. You know, I mean, like. What year was that? 
Ah, oh, God, this was into 62, 63. Ah. You know, you were busy, or maybe you weren't there. You maybe, know? maybe. You yeah. know, so we would yeah. come in. And, uh, there were people in and out of that shop all the time. Yeah. Can, all the can time. you name a few, I mean, that uh, come to mind? Uh, you know, Paul Gabauer was one. Oh, Paul, yeah. Fred Hemmings. Yeah. You know, he was hanging around there. Sure. Bit. And he and Sparky were an odd couple friends, right? Yeah. Yes. And this guy yeah. Mike Strange too was a yeah yeah and yeah. Uh, Diffenderfer came through Diffenderfer um, yeah there were a lot of California people that came through yeah and then there was you know you had that influx of uh, Australians yeah yeah that sure went it. Drove it to hell, right? <laughs> well, you, well the, you, Aust the Australians always thought that Australia had the better waves, and we just kept asking them, well, why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> That's the perfect question. Yeah. <laughs> and you can still ask that, Yeah, I think, maybe. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rick, you mentioned there may have been a problem with some theft of tourist cars, uh, some of famous beaches, favorite beaches. Yeah, I mean, th that went on. That went on. It happened. But not smash. From, but not the Inner Island guys would never do that, right? No. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Smashing That was a sarcastic statement. No, well, <laughs> no, it's a protectionist thing. Yeah, right. Not right. on the ball, but we yeah. heard about that. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, it happens. Yeah. A lot of people would come over here and they had no means of supporting themselves. They had enough money for a. You know, for a plane ride. That was you know that's it. ongoing right now. Oh yeah, you know? <laughs> I'm sure it is. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What was your biggest wave, Rick? Uh, good. I that think you remember. Well, I don't know how big it was, but I think the biggest waves that I surfed were probably Sunset. Sure. Yeah, and the best. And actually. the best. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was a perfect, mm -hmm. perfect shape wave. You rode your inner island and your supports away there. Yep. Well, I rode the that gun. That yellow gun. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. I almost drowned at sunset. Got caught. That uh, most of us almost did, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, right? But that's part of the, yeah. you know, the, the <laughs> part of the club. And you're there by yourself, and your board is yeah, yeah. gone. Well, yeah, I ended up about a mile down the beach. Excellent. <laughs> you know. Towards Haliva. No, the other way. The other way? Yeah. Boy, you're lost. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. And how did you keep uh, fueled? Fuel? Spam and rice, right? Spam and rice. We bought rice by the 50-pound bag. Excellent. And uh, anything we could get a hold of, Pepsi, Twinkies, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> Cinnamon toast. You bet, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. No time for girls. Oh, they were around, but actually no time for them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that. No, no kiss and tell here. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I can remember. Actually, I can remember I was, was dating a girl here, and she went off to school in uh, uh, Colorado. And before I had come, before I had come to Hawaii, I had a friend of mine in Rhode Island. His name was Bob Reef. His father had already been stationed here, so he gave me the heads up on Hawaii. And when yeah. I was, I was going to go get get yourself a surfboard, man. Yeah. Just go surfing. No. So, nice. anyways, this girl ends up writing me a letter and said, "Well, I can't communicate with you anymore. I found a." I found someone else, and his name is Bob Reef, so, which is the guy so, that I had gone to high school with. So, right? <laughs> no intrigue there. No. It's just a, yeah, a coincidence. Yeah, yeah. coincidence. Yeah. Well, it allowed you to keep surfing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So here is a wonderful shot you took of Marty and uh, Joe Kitchens, yeah. one of the rare photos of Inter-Island Surf Shop 620. Kakaako Street. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so everybody's barefoot. Yep. And glassing with no mask, nothing. Oh, yeah. Just uh, going. Yeah. You're sanding with no mask? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. I can remember, <laughs> I can remember in that back where the boards were, where we built the boards, you know, we always had a big tub of acetone hanging around. 
open, open. And, and gassing. Well, yeah, well, and maybe. then we used it to wash our hands. Absolutely. And <laughs> went down one day like this, it all splashed up into my eyes. Of course, you get the hose out. <laughs> <laughs> Do a little Let's go dance. have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was really good to have that little pool hall in the bar next door. You know, it was perfect. It, it leveled you out. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Customer relations. Yeah. And working with uh, Joe Kitchens. Uh, Joe, Koala, Joe Koala. They came later. But What a guy. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. So well, he was like, like the team captain who brought in uh, the local guys. and For surfing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But he was, uh, he was probably one of my best friends here. Excellent. Yeah. No, no, great. Yeah. Hold on a sec. The, uh, so David Nuiva came into the shop as a kid? A uh, little bit. Probably did. I don't yeah. know if I would have remembered. Yeah. I don't remember him, but uh, I'm sure. But Chris Green came over and uh, started working, yeah. laminating, then he started glossing, glassing, right? And then glossing. shaping. Gloss. Yeah. 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 Chris was good. And there were a few. Uh, Florida guys that would stop by once in a while. They were not really welcome too much. But <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Um, they just, uh, they didn't fit in. Let me put it that way. Yeah? yeah? So, Floridians and Australians, no need? Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> stay home. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. But the Californians were allowed. Yeah, well, there were so many of them here already, it didn't really matter. <laughs> Rick, did you have a signature surfing move? Signature? Ooh. No. No, I always like to get a nice head dip, though. Head that dip? was fun. Yeah. And hang five, ten? Yeah. Uh, sky hook? Yeah, yeah kind of. <laughs> a little bit of that stuff. But, no, it wasn't. It was pretty... I don't. I don't want to say conservative, but uh, we would never say that. Yeah. <laughs> no. But no, no signature move. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. Who did you enjoy uh, surfing with? Was, did you guys go out together? A driver? Who's driving? You know. Uh. Yeah, a bunch of the guys from Alamoana in the winter, if I when I was still living in Alamoana, mm -hmm. we'd drive out to the North Shore. Sure. A bunch of us. And uh, when I was living in the North Shore, uh, Butch Van Arsdale, uh, Jeff Hackman, you know, because we lived not too far from the Armaha. Okay. You know, and all, there were a bunch of people there. Yeah, which they call yeah. Rocky Point now, right? I don't know. Yeah, is it? Armaha. No, yeah. you got it. No, yeah. great. Yeah. That was for Army Hut, because the Quonset, Quonset Hut, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. Big parties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Pipeline was right there. Wow. Great show. Empty yeah. beaches. Yeah. And that one fellow that I showed you the picture of, Lonnie, he, as well, far as I know... Lonnie Kyoho from Foster Village? Yeah. Yeah. As far as I know, he was the first guy to get, to get a tube ride at Pipeline and get filmed. Okay. In a film, not a, okay. not a uh, photograph. And I can't remember the guy who made the film. It was one of the so, one of the first guys. This is uh, Lonnie and Joe Kitchens, and this is like a uh, like a forty nine or fifty Woody. Yeah, forty six. Forty six. Okay. Yeah, I bought that on the island. That was yours. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you still have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you a funny story about that uh, uh, Chevy station wagon I had. I took it to get it inspected, right? <laughs> and it had cracked windows. So the guy says, no, 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 can't inspect this. Well, okay. So he drove out around, out of his sight, cracked out all the windows, except for the windshield. Brought it back, no windows, no problem. So you just, like the windows were rolled down, so they weren't cracked. They were just gone. They were gone. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. All the way around, except for except the windshield? Except for the windshield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> we learned some more today. We, we can use it now. <laughs> oh, terrific. Yeah. yeah. 
was a it was a very interesting time and uh, probably the best time. I'm glad I saw, I was in Hawaii then. Sure. Yeah. You have any and stories about Sparky you can tell us? Oh well, I don't know if I can tell you. Sure you sure can. Sure you can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, do tell. Where is this going? <laughs> oh, just right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We can uh, choose your words, but we'll get the concept is what we're looking for. The concept. <laughs> okay. No. Well, I think Sparky and I used to hang out a bit out back and uh, do a little token. Wonderful. Yeah, a little pakalolo. That was you're ahead of the curve. Back then. Absolutely. Back then. Yeah. Definitely. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's creativity. Yeah. And more, please. Sparky. Well, <laughs> Sparky was kind of—he was kind of a dandy, you know. Was, but I don't know much more, really. Yeah. Well, you do, but you're not saying. No. That's fine. <laughs> but. <laughs> what do you mean, a dandy? Well, he—he he was always kind of. Had a really clean T-shirt on and yeah. clean shorts yeah. and perfect hair. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right on. Yeah, and and he was a little bit of a womanizer, I would say. <laughs> uh, well, he looked like well, he was Japanese German. Yeah, yeah. and he looked like our uh, Dean Martin, yeah. our yeah Hollywood star. Yeah, and uh, it worked. That was. That was <laughs> we have a close-up shot of him. Uh, I somewhere, know. I can. Uh, Did you call him Bob, Robert, or Sparky? Oh, Sparky. very good. Sparky. Called him Spark. Spark. Yeah. Apparently, he, I asked him how he got his name because he tattooed, right? Yeah. So he was a mechanic too, right? right. Machinist. Yes. In California, yes. here a surfer. Yeah. California came back as being a machinist, race car driver. Yeah. And he got his tag Sparky because he touched the old magneto. Yeah, yeah. And it sparked him and knocked him down. Yeah. Sparky. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. <laughs> yeah. Hold that thought. They have a question. I'll look for a photo. Uh -oh. you ever get short boards or thrusters? No. No. And I don't particularly like the uh, that style of surfing. Right. Kind of a long board Here's guy. A shot of Sparky. Oh yeah, yeah. Right there. That's, hold it up. that's our man. You see it? Yeah, that huh. looks like that. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. He's got the look. <laughs> He's got the look. Yeah. Here's something from uh, Surfing Magazine, uh, Family 1986, tree. Family Tree of Shapers. We put it again. So we've got, you know, uh, uh, Duke, uh, Tom Blake, and George Downing, but direct line from Abel Gomes. Dotted line right here to Mickey Lake, uh, Joe Kitchens, and Sparky. Really? So in our eye, yeah. and you were right there with all yeah. that action. Yeah. And uh, of interest, uh, Kenny Tilton? No. no. He, he just no. passed away. Yeah. And as did Paul Gabauer. But anyway, this is kind of an idea of where you were involved is right in the top tier of this yeah, tree. Yeah, yeah it was okay. good. You were there, man. Great so, people. Yeah. yeah, so cool. And. Uh, Mickey Lake mentions once about Sparky. He uh, lived beyond his means. Because <laughs> he had to feed that car. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And he had to feed the that's car. That's right, that's and, right. Uh, yeah. All that. Yeah. And please, Dave. Uh, Elaine. More? More questions. Oh, please. Well, what was Sparky's greatest contribution to he, surfing? He was a shaper. And he was very good at it, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. Shaper, uh, what do I want to say? More than a shaper, he was a designer. Designer, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, do people in surfing autograph their boards? They sign them. Yeah. Sign. Back then, it was just initials. Right. Right. And then came signatures. Then it flipped. And decals, logos were only on the deck. Yeah. Later on came bottom. Oh, and yeah. then signatures on the bottom. Yeah. Well, those two boards had the decals on the bottom. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh, because of the pigment. No, yeah. right on. Yeah. And Sparky never put dimensions on the boards. He no. would never measure them out for anybody to know. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, that's a contrast from today because I expect that they're all CAD made now. Uh, there are a, a lot of that going on, and that, that's where the confusion of leaders, how many leaders on a board, are you kidding? <laughs> that's only a computer cut can offer you that. Yeah. A hand shape, I mean, you got width and thickness and length. Right. And we don't think leaders. No. No, we're gallons, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quartz. <laughs> Quartz. <laughs> Perfect. So is, uh, I assume that Dick still shaping or no? He's... Um, Semi-retired, yeah. uh, we uh, so were with him a couple of years ago, and he can lay out a template. Yeah, and he's there, and uh, he'll do the hand cut, and then somebody else. I'm not sure if he'll mill. Anyway, he's right. 84 now, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, but he he's strong. Yeah. Uh, but it's just I think it's probably dangerous. <laughs> gotcha. But anyway, but yeah, he he's uh, some beautiful pieces. Yeah. So, Rick, did you take what you experienced here and adapt it anywhere else you surfed later on in later years? I never really did much surfing after that. I surfed a little bit in Rhode Island, and uh, I surfed a couple of times in Tortola. But that was the extent of it. I just, uh, well, my whole life had changed, so. But didn't you work at a shop in Narragansett? Yeah. And what was that? That was uh, I want to say sixty nine seventy. So that was after. Yeah. So but things things were changing rapidly. Yeah. Small boards coming in. Oh yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. And back then, was the surfing scene as hectic in Rhode Island as it is now? No, no, no. But it it's it's kind of like here now. You know, Rhode Island, the East Coast has jumped right up. Yeah. So that was it, a little bit in the Caribbean and then in Rhode Island. Yeah, well, the Caribbean was not that long ago. <laughs> right. <laughs> so. But you transitioned more to sailboats after that, right? I did. Oh, yeah. Fair. Didn't you become a licensed, uh, Coast Guard licensed skipper? I did. Yep, uh, yep. And I ran private boats and did deliveries. Yeah. And you worked as a charter captain as well. I did. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Why did you leave Hawaii, Rick? <laughs> I got drafted. Yeah. Mercy. Yeah. So things were just revving up in 65. Yes. And uh, yeah. radical. Yeah. And you're about 19 or 20, 21? 22. Then? Excellent. Perfect candidate. Oh, but perfect. here you are. Yeah, so huh? were you dispatched and came back? Or? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of guys from Hawaii. Yeah, got pulled, yeah? Yeah. We all went to Fort Ord, California. Yeah. In fact, there's that one picture of me and Joe right there. Yes. That was like two weeks before I left. This is your departure? Yeah. Pretty much. Excellent. Welcome back. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, terrific. Yeah. And so now, your uh, your occupation is? Well, I've been doing a lot of artwork, yes. ceramic artwork. Excellent. Pottery, and which I've been doing for quite a few years in between sailboats and okay. no. all those other So stuff. you found your... I found a niche. Solitude yeah. and yeah. creativity. Yeah. And I, you know, I owe a lot of that to, when I first got here, when I first got to Hawaii, I had landed a job with a guy named Jimmy Sakamoto, who was a, a Japanese fellow, and he was a carpenter, and he was doing uh, Japanese gardens. Oh, wonderful. Not the landscaping so much as like the bridges. The small bridge. The and, uh, beautiful, and all that wonderful. Stuff. So I worked with him for a while, and I kind of learned that aesthetic. Well, at a yeah. great cost. <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, yeah. A measure once, cut twice, or something. Uh, or <laughs> oh boy, you better cut. You know, that cut better be right. Yeah. And uh, yeah. flat, uh, one inch and three lines. Well, yeah, yeah. 
I'll give you an so, idea. We had a uh, we had a sh uh, shop we worked at. It was Quanta Hut. Had a cement slab floor, and we sharpened all our own tools. And the fact is, we even made tools. Okay. But uh, you'd sharpen a crosscut saw and you'd bring it over, show it to him, and uh, if it wasn't quite right, he'd take it and slide it across the cr concrete floor, dull it all up. <laughs> you know, even if it just needed a little trimming here and there, <laughs> you're going to do it all again. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, I okay. learned a lot. A grasshopper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. A rite of passage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It didn't last that long. Well, but it's a lifetime experience. <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah. And uh, did you pass on that critical learning to others? Actually, I teach now once in a while. Yeah. And I do pass a little bit of that on. <laughs> it's, it's, you must. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I had, you showed me a photo of uh, you build kiln and do raku yeah. uh, pottery? Yes. yes. Excellent. Yeah. Not an easy task. No, it's, it's, uh, it's an interesting process mm -hmm. because it's pretty tactical and you're, you know, you're right there in the moment. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. Yes, but it's cold in New England, so. Mm -hmm. Any reflections on being back here since 1965? It's already uh, 2022. Yeah, well, I, I was a little disappointed. And I know it's been 50-something years. Just like that. Just like okay. that. But... Uh, the North Shore disappointed me. Yeah. Uh, so crowded. Yeah, if, if you, but I'm living in the past. So you're here now. These but guys, no, 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 I'm sure it's people all. figure it out, yeah. but you know, if I can't drive up to a break and find a parking spot <laughs> and eat, and even be able to walk out there, yeah. that's a little much. Yeah. yeah. So Rhode I think Island, the right. tourists. Mm -hmm. It's, is what it is. It looks like tourists never came out to the North Shore. It was empty in the summer. It was absolutely empty. It, oh yeah. You know, and uh, it was just different, right? Yeah. yeah. It used to be a little uh, movie theater right inside Haleva. in Haleva. Haleva I, guess, I don't know if that's there. I couldn't it's tell. Gone. Yeah. A McDonald's there now. Oh okay. <laughs> 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 I used to go in there, and there used to be a pool hall right next to it. And a lot of the uh, a lot of the guys who were working in the uh, pineapple and cane fields would come in, and that was their pool hall. We went in there one night and made a mistake of winning. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it wasn't a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you have to leave something on the table. Yeah, no, we left. We left, but we left in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah, but. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, and the, uh, you know, the store, Matsumoto's. Mm -hmm, yeah. Whoa, what happened here? We used to bring, trade, get, trade our bottles to him and get money back, you know, those returns. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know, get a nickel for a bottle. Thanks. That's where they used to go, to him. And I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking, that can't happen. That's shave ice, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. And yeah. was Cammy's store open across from Sunset back then? That was the post office. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if I remember right, that was the post yeah. office. Yeah. And at the North Shore back then, I remember, there were very few phone booths. I don't remember any. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I don't remember any phones. Okay. To tell you the truth. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to think of who it was that we rented the house from in, in, uh, on the North Shore. It was one of the guys, he taught at Punahou. Uh, and he see. was a big surfer. Uh, would be uh, Peter Cole? Exactly. Okay. That was his house that we rented, and mm -hmm. it was $80 a month. <laughs> and it was right on the beach. Cool. Yeah. And there was Fred Van Dyke up there. Fred too. Van Dyke, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Forgot about him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then for a while, you know, because 
we moved around a bit, depending on how much money we had. Yeah, <laughs> who could come up with rent. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, I forget somebody, I, didn't, I can't remember who it was, but rented the downstairs of that, the very last house on Moimea Point. There was like a downstairs apartment and wow. he had rented that, and I stayed in there for about a month. Straight and out at the point there? When that when it got big, that place shook. It really oh, did. Rolling. You could hear the rocks uh, rolling oh, yeah, and all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gary yeah. Morrison, Inter Island Surf Shop. Thanks to um, Rick, he's brought it back together. It's so nice yeah. to have you yeah. back. Great to Rick be Martel. here. Rick Martel. Yeah. Rhode Island, where the secret surf spots are. <laughs> <laughs> and but, but thank you yeah, so much. Thank you. Thank you. And good, thank good, you good. for keeping it up. Well, thanks again. Yeah. You know, don't, we need a lot of help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, you guys. Aloha to the camera. Aloha. Aloha. Thank you so much. Uh, Bye.